what's happening YouTube so this game it was actually pretty fun I'm not gonna even lie to you so the Chicago Bulls versus the Milwaukee Bucks like first game I did not watch at all uh, the Bulls lost but this time the Bulls took the Bucks stole one away game and the Bulls ultimately won the game and it was actually a really fun game like literally like essentially like the first three quarters like the Bulls was just taking control in general well it's actually a close game in our first half but then like third quarter the Bulls took control and then fourth quarter the Bucks gained a little bit of momentum and and then like made it pretty somewhat like a game to like watch but then the Bulls ultimately won the game so it was actually a pretty like fairly intense game like there were two injuries unfortunately for the Milwaukee Bucks one was Bobby Portis which you know I believe his eyes was like messed up and you know like supposedly he saw double vision at least what the commentator said which is like that's actually like pretty rough especially a guy like Bobby Portis who would bring that nice unmatched energy and then like Chris Middleton who's like the Bucks second best player went from he went out with I forgot some type of sprain like I didn't pay attention like deep details on how he got hurt but I just want to make a fun video so so they so there's that and then but anyways enough of that talking let's go player by player so first uh, the Chicago Bulls. First of all, DeMar DeRozan. Like, big shout out to DeMar DeRozan because he had a really brutal game, alright? He went 6 for 25, which is not even like 20. It's like he literally went 20% from the field goal line, which was pretty bad last game. And, you know, he was starting to get the slander. He, they were saying, you know, DeMar DeRozan and all of that. Like, he's been. He was, like, disrespected, like, for a little while. And I'm not going to lie, I, I kind of slept on him a lot, like, especially, like, during the off season, Like, last season when he was rumored to, you know, get traded with the Clippers, I was not big on, you know, trading a lot of the players for DeRozan. But DeRozan's balling out, bro. He's balling out. And he dropped, like, 41 points tonight. Big shot to him. Like, if there's anyone that, you know, that – Deserves to have a nice bounce back. Like, other than Paul George, it'll be DeMar DeRozan. Because that dude has been getting a lot of disrespect lately. And he pretty much is bringing back the relevancy of the mid-range game. Like, his midi was, ooh, especially during crunch time. That midi was just so smooth. Like, he has a nice 6 seven body. And his elevation was just so satisfying. He was just drilling the mid-range, and then he was just drilling the threes, and then he made that one beautiful layup on Giannis Antetokounmpo, which is, man, shout out to DeMar. Just shout out to DeMar. Nothing but shout out to DeMar Debo DeRozan, repping Compton, California. And then you got Zach Levine. Zach Levine. Made a lot of timely shots, three from four from the three, scored 20 points. Just a really great bucket getter for the Chicago Bulls. Shout out to him, you know. I believe he made All Star. He was, he is also killing it as well too. Just nothing too much to say about Zach Levine. Just doing his job, being a bucket and all that. And then you got Alex Caruso, which is, a, hey, I'm glad that he's not on the Lakers anymore because you know. Alex Caruso with the Lakers, like, not gonna lie, like, of course, like, it was easy for, like, as, as a biased Clippers fan would easily poke fun at Caruso and all that, but now with him and the Bulls, like, at least I don't have to, like, you know, clown him as hard, but, like, he actually did phenomenal in this game, and, you know, we don't, don't really like giving props to, like, Lakers fans' favorite, but you gotta give props where it's due, because he played that great defense, like, he's, he's big body, he's 6'4", he's very athletic, his playmaking is pretty good, his rebounding is pretty good, his IQ is pretty good, like, during crunch time, he was literally defending Giannis and Kumpo, I'm not gonna lie to you, and he even, like, caused Giannis to pass the ball, like, multiple times, which is, like, 
Actually, I'm not going to cap to you. Pretty surprising for a guy like Alex Caruso. But Caruso, like, supposedly he went, like, 3-for-7. But, like, from the Caruso, what I've seen, like, or at least, like, in the fourth quarter, he tends to struggle on three-point shooting. So, I guess, like, your way how to beat Caruso is just leave him open from the three. And he would definitely, like, there's a solid chance that he would miss a lot of the threes. But... He was very big for the Chicago Bulls tonight. He was just tremendous. Nikola Vucevic made some timely threes. Like it's kind of like their little big man upgrade, I guess. And I guess like you could say he's an upgrade because you know his floor spacing is pretty good, and you know like he's in an actual contending team. Like he's no longer with the Orlando Magic, which which is just like you know a tropical like a tropical like a tropical I don't want to I don't want to try to disrespect the Orlando Magics but you know just a tropical like uh depression like like if you're a Magics fan like please don't feel like I'm trying to disrespect your team it's just like the analogy of you know like how the team is doing because the Orlando Magic is just like ooh pretty rough like like, hopefully, maybe they could be something, but as of right now, the Orlando Magic team is just meh. So, it's a perfect time for Vucevic to get out of that team and now become a bull. And then, you also, they also got, um, I mean, yeah, that, that's the, essentially like the players they have that pretty much put into work. Like, I mean, I would assume we played some minutes, but... He didn't really do anything too special. Tristan Thompson, he played some some of the minutes. He grabs a significant rebound. Just a pretty good veteran role player, if you want to say. And then, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. And I still forgot the one dude named Green, I want to say. Um, did solid as well, too. Oh, I can't believe I forgot this, but Patrick Williams. Patrick Williams... Pretty good power forward. Plays that pretty good defense. Like, he's their nice and young up-and-coming power forward, which is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good, young, good glue guy role player. Like, just a really good glue guy for the, for the Bulls. Like, they pretty much killed it. But, yeah, shout-out to the Bulls for their W. It's going to be a pretty fun series. Um, I, do, I do not have a preference on who I'm going to refer to this team, but either way, it's a pretty fun a fun matchup. And then now, let's talk a little bit about the Milwaukee Bucks. So first of all, Giannis Antetokounmpo, he he just essentially did his thing. 11 for 20, I believe. Like, you know, just did typical Giannis things. Playmaking was pretty good. Was just running up and, you know, getting to the basket. Just typical Giannis. Free throw was not too bad. Um... Caruso did manage to give Giannis some trouble, which is like, I mean, like, which is, it's either Caruso is a great defender or Giannis is just having a little bit rough of the crunch time, but, but, but either way, Giannis, he's still a beast, and hopefully Giannis, he, he still goes crazy, which is how he usually does, Giannis is just a certified beast, and I honestly got Giannis and Jacopo like the best basketball player in the world. Like, if there's no Kawhi or... But yeah, I, I would just say Giannis, as of right now, is the best basketball player in the world because obviously Kawhi's, you know, not healthy and all that. So obviously when when Kawhi plays, Kawhi's the best basketball player in the world. But for now, respectfully, I would just say Giannis because Giannis just has everything in a bag. And then... You got Brooke Lopez. Hey, he definitely showed out this game. Like, his floor spacing was pretty good. Um, he was getting, like, his ball handling, like, showed that he was pretty solid. Just kind of rim running. Just got some nice key dunks. And defense was, like, meh. Like, nothing too special. But, but he did fairly well. But, yeah, Caruso even did, like, get a block on Brooke Lopez, which is, like, Jeez, Caruso, like, I guess there's a reason why the Lakers fan, they stand Caruso like crazy. But, yeah, Caruso did his thing. So, gotta give Caruso the props. And then, 
you essentially got um, Bobby Portis. Oh, I sh not Bobby Portis. I think I said it a little too soon, but Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday brings out hustle, brings out defense. Um, he kind of got cooked some, some of the plays, but, you know, even the best defenders gets cooked every once in a while. So, 15 points. Um, just a pretty solid player. Um, just, you know, pretty good addition for the Milwaukee Bucks. And, and that made the Bucks won the, the title last season, last season. So, that's so pretty, pretty solid player in general. And... And then, like, Portis, he got, he was out early because he got hurt. Middleton was out early as well, too, because he got hurt. And, yeah, that's pretty much, like, honestly, like, essentially it. I mean, you got Pat Connaughton, who just did all right. But it was mainly Giannis and uh, Brooke Lopez just doing the work. So, overall, that's just what happened this game. So, but yeah, this was actually a pretty fun game. So just let me know what you think about this video. And be sure to leave a comment down below. Just let me know what you think about this game. Like, this was actually a pretty fun game. For, at least from what from what I've seen. But yeah, just like I said, just leave a like in this video. Leave a comment down below in the section. And I'll definitely try to get with y'all in the comment section. And as y'all know, have a great night.